Yes, Bay Automotive Opportunities Fund. Will investing in this fund add more value and returns to your portfolio, or add more risk to your investment portfolio? Let us find out in detail in this analysis. Hi, welcome to Holistic Investment Dot In. We help individual investors like you to take the right financial and investment decisions to reach your financial goals faster and smarter. Yes, Bay Automotive Opportunities Fund (NFO) is open from 17th May 2024 and is open until 31st May 2024. and some of its key features are it belongs to the category of sectoral equity scheme of automotive and allied businesses it has an open ended fund type it has nifty auto tri as its benchmark you need 5000 rupees as a minimum amount for investment in this fund mr desa is the fund manager for this fund there is exit load of 1% if the fund is redeemed within 1 year of investing so the investment philosophy and objective of the sba automotive opportunities fund nfo is aims to invest in the opportunities across automotive and allied business sector to create long term wealth by investing in equity and equity related instruments of automotive and allied business sector so it primary objective is to invest in top performing businesses that belongs to the automotive and allied business activities so the investment objective is to create long term capital appreciation so it will be suitable for aggressive investors who are bullish on automotive and allied business sector now as we have looked at the key features and the investment objective of this fund now let us take a look at the pros of investing in this fund to better understand what are the advantages we can gain by investing in this fund so this fund is diversified among the top performing companies in the automotive and allied business sector so if you are an investor who is seeking allocation to the automotive and allied business sector then this is something uh, you can choose to invest in also if the automotive and allied business sector performs and delivers if it performs well it definitely will give you high return which will in turn boost your overall return and overall return of your investment portfolio but follows a principle of high risk and high return because it predominantly focuses on only one sector which is the automotive and allied business sector here so focusing on one sector can induce high risk but also can give you high return potentially if you think that automotive and or allied business sector will perform really well in the future or in the present also if you're someone who's able to take risk you're an aggressive investor who's bullish on the automotive and allied business sector then this might be a suitable find for you but as it applies the high risk concept it might not be suitable for a short term investor because for a high risk fund we're or we should always invest for a long term to gain the potential returns but if you want to invest in this fund to achieve your short term financial goals then it might get riskier for you because in a short term the market can go from high to low to even negative returns or even no returns so you might even lose your principal amount of which you invested in this fund so it's better if you avoid this fund if you're a short term investor so also this fund as it is an nfo this might not be suitable for your core investment portfolio as not all great sectors translate into stock market returns as this is one which has great risk in it as it focuses on predominantly on one sector you might even over expose your portfolio to negative triggers in the market also as is not a diversified fund because it only focuses on one sector it's not flexible and dynamic when compared to a diversified fund because in a diversified fund if one sector performs well or doesn't perform well another sector will perform well to balance out the ratio but here if this sector doesn't perform well everything goes down the drain so this can add more vol- volatility to your investment portfolio so there is a high concentration risk here if the automotive and uh, allied business sector underperforms especially if it underperforms because the sector might be in the boost might be in the high right now in the market but we don't know how long will it be because this might be on the market trend and market trend keeps on changing so it's all about the timing if you're someone who doesn't understand that much about how the market behaves and you do not have that much knowledge on that and you do not know when to get into this investing in this fund and when to get out of investing in this sector then this might not be suitable for you because the circle of competence and the timing is uh, very hard to predict in market if you involve a professional like a mu- professional mutual fund distributor or professional financial planner they will be able to help you through this process but if you are someone who doesn't have that much knowledge and you want to do this all alone then this might be a riskier for, uh, fund for you to 
choose to do that because investing here involves a lot of risk and you need to know when to get out of this when the risk becomes higher so we have looked at both the pros and cons of this sba automotive opportunities fund from the pros itself we can understand that if it performs well it performs well but when it underperforms it really gives us a greater risk of even losing our principal amount that we invested in this fund in investment it's always better to diversify it's never good idea to put all your uh, eggs in one basket it's always good to diversify your funds so investing predominantly only in one sector will actually will not be that efficient so now let us understand if we should invest in this fund or not what is the final takeaway from our analysis of the sba automotive opportunities fund nfo so as we can see this is not a beginner friendly fund to invest for a first time investor or even good fund for a conservative investor because this fund involves a lot of risk so if you are someone who doesn't have that much tolerance to take high risk then you should avoid this fund avoid investing in this fund because this might uh, this fund might not be suitable according to your risk profile according to your uh, if you're just a beginner in the stuff, uh, investing in funds like this then this might not be suitable for you but if you still want to invest if you still want to experiment then there are already existing automotive allied business funds with a track record with a track record it will be helpful for you to analyze like it has a good track record for 7 to 10 years you know that it has uh, performed well and completed the market cycle of 7 to 10 years and have held it strong so you can take a calculated risk in investing in that fund but for an nfo like this which is just open now you do not know what is the track record for this you do not know how it's going to perform and it's based on only focusing one sector so instead of taking a blind risk you can take calculated risk by investing in a similar mutual fund like this with a good track record if you still want to invest in this particular fund not an existing similar fund like this but this particular fund then remember this fund is not suitable to add in your core investment portfolio which you have been using to invest to achieve your core financial goals this fund is only suitable to add in your satellite portfolio where you have some spare money for a trial uh, experimental investment in this fund also if you don't know when to enter and exit from a automotive and allied business sector then also this fund is not suitable for you but if you still want to invest and you still want a professional guidance it's better if you involve a financial planner to see if this fund is suitable for uh, according to your investment objective your risk profile the overlap ratio between this fund and your investment portfolio and see how much fund you need to allocate for this fund because involving a professional will always uh, help you smoothen the journey will make it easier for you because they will know and consider these factors for you and will personalize the financial plan and the investment strategies needed to achieve your financial goals in a smart and faster way so investing in a prof professional is always a good idea also uh, remember these points this fund is not suitable for uh, if you are someone who is looking to add this fund in your core portfolio or if you don't know how to enter and exit from a automotive and allied business sector also this fund is also not suitable for someone who's just beginning to invest or someone who's a conservative investor so keep these things in mind before investing if you're someone who wants professional guidance for your investment and financial decisions then don't hesitate to book a one on one complimentary consultation with one of our professional financial planners through the link in our description also if you want to gain investment knowledge and financial knowledge through leading experts in the industry then please register for our free live webinar which we regularly conduct through the link in the description if you like this video hit like and subscribe to our channel we will be back with more such financially beneficial videos thank you for watching